So to create this instrument loop, and um, there may be a less convoluted way to do this, but this is what worked for me. I begin in uh, the P9D class definitions with inline instruments, and I created a property that I called dev loop num, device loop number, and I left that with no acquisition rule so that I could set that number myself. From there, I went on to signal line group, and I created a custom property in there, lnum, or group loop number as the display, and I gave that an acquisition rule to take its value from signal line segment number. So my next step then was to go into the lines, go to signal line segments, find number, and give that an acquisition rule to take its value from inline instruments device loop number, which is the first one that I set up in this demonstration. I then created group number, group num, and I set that to signal line group, group loop number. So it in itself creates something of a loop, so that the signal line segment and the signal line group will share the same loop number. So with those in place, I moved on to general instrument symbols, and I created a property in there, if I can find it, I loop num, or instrument loop number. I gave that an acquisition rule of signal line segments group number. So basically I created a very twisted and turned convoluted loop that will force any, loop, any instruments that I place after the first inline instrument through the group line, the signal group line, to take on the same number. And once I had that saved and a playing ever comes back, there we go. Once I placed this first instrument and assigned it a number of 801, I drop this line in. That line is automatically going to assume the number of 801. I drop in the PLC, which is a general instrument, and that's going to grab that same loop number. Now the second piece of line in here is, an, is a freestanding line when you first place it. So before it will take the number as well, you have to come back to the first line segment you put in. Right click and use Edit S Line Group, and then choose the option to Add, and then select that second segment, which is already added. As soon as that is added to the group, any instrument that you place on top of that will also take on the loop number of the very first instrument. Now I could continue this chain indefinitely and as long as I add every line segment in between instruments to this S line group which has picked up the 801 number, each individual uh, piece will grab that 801 number and you'll be able to place as many instruments end to end as you want to. And that is how I put this all together. So I hope this helps. Thanks.